Hi everyone, this is Ascended Twin 144K. I'm here to do a reading for the star sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, and South Node. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I hope you've been taking care of yourself and doing what's necessary to get you from your stage from day to day. And you're evolving, you're ascending, but you're happy, you're balanced, and you're looking forward to whatever it is that you're planning for yourself. Thank you to all of the subscribers that have stayed with me, and thank you to new subscribers. Also, um, thank you to anyone who has come by my channel and visit. I appreciate it. It's greatly, um, it's greatly appreciated. So thank you so much. Um, as we know, I'm not going to stand on a whole lot of formalities, but as we know, time is fluid. So this can be past, present, or future energies. Uh, take what resonates, what doesn't, just leave it. Um, this reading isn't going to be for everyone. Um, this reading can also be, is timeless. So anytime you click on a video, when you come to my channel, um, if you resonate with this message, it was meant for you to hear it at that specific time. This also goes for same-sex relationships, because I always seem to leave that out and do it somewhere along during the reading. But um, energies can be reversed. This could be you or them. So let's begin. And anything else um, you need to know about me and my channel will be listed in the description box below the video. Okay? So I'm using the Illuminati Tarot to establish what is the energy for my Cancerian uh, subscribers. We have the Chariot, we have um, the Four of Pentacles, we have the Four of Cups, we have the Princess of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Wands, and we have the Queen of Swords, and at the bottom of the deck we have the Princess of Swords. So someone, Cancer, you're definitely showing up in your readings, okay? So somebody wants victory, somebody wants to take swift action and move something forward. Um, some of you could be at a distance um, from your person, um, but somebody is holding back. Somebody is very heavily focused on money. Some of you, I'm hearing, could be hiding and stashing money. <laughs> um, also, someone is fearing rejection um, or fearing rejection of an offer um, that you're going to give to someone. And it's leaving someone guarded and defensive about a situation, and they feel like um, that you're going to possibly, either you or this uh, air sign, someone could be embodying the air, the energy of an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is going to cut something out. Um, so they could cut it out possibly because there could be childish or immature behavior or communication. Or someone could be spying, but I feel more like somebody's spying. Um, if anybody has recently uh, had... Their email uh, attempted to be hacked. I knew I had mine uh, attempted to be hacked, as well as my Facebook. And this goes along for um, those that are in divine masculine, divine feminine um, energies, and anyone else that's going through this. Um, somebody attempted yesterday several times, and several times you got denied. But anyway... <sighs> We have meadow, which is vulnerability. We have shape-shifting, so something is changing, or you're changing, Cancer. Um, someone needs to ground their self, or you're grounded, or you're already grounded. And you're going to radiate in the summertime. You're going to radiate like the sun. There's something definitely unfolding in your life, and your intuition is like instinct. It's like a wolf. You instinctively know this is going to take place. Archangel Ariel is telling you to have courage. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. So some of you might need to stand up for what you believe in and breathe. Archangel Raphael, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to relax Oh, I'm sorry, to release old patterns. So some of you might need to uh, do some deep breathing so you can release some old patterns and bring in some new energy. Also, Counselor Archangel Azrael, 
You are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. Relationship Harmony, Archangel Raguel. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So if you're involved in any kind of arguments or um, relationship disharmony, and it doesn't have to be um, someone that you're in love with. It could be someone you love, or it could be a coworker. It could be a friend. It could be anything. Um, but if there's disharmony there, the angels are there to assist you. And Archangel Chamuel, peace comes from remembering that only love is real. And this coincides greatly with this, I feel. Claire Sentience, Archangel Raguel, notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. So you're being divinely guided. And at the bottom of your deck, you have sensitivity, Archangel Hanil. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor your feelings and yourself. I said it backwards, but you know what I mean. But honor yourself and your feelings. Um, I know when they said the the moon um, went into another sign that a lot of us were going to experience a lot of deep emotions. So I'm imagining some of you Cancerians are experiencing some of this. The angel of balance um, is signifying that someone needs to um, have balance in a situation. Um, that's Arch Archangel Michael for me. And we have the door to personal healing and happiness. So it's time, Cancers. And you need to take action to do so because you have the door to spirit. So spirit is with you to help you uh, take action to do this. And you have the garden and the gate. So you have a choice. You can remain locked up or you can free yourself and explore all the beauty that the world has to offer. And the fourth chakra is Archangel Raphael is telling you that we need to work on. So your heart chakra needs to be activated or open. <clears throat> And we have caring connections. And that, again, goes with relationship harmony. So um, some of you are involved in caring connections and others of you would like to be in caring connections. And you have adjacent possibilities. So some of you have options um, and more than just love. You have options in business, uh, finances, um, friendship, whatever it is. People place things. And there has been a tower moment because uh, some of my other decks are sitting out. Um, so some of you may have experienced a tower moment. This is Aries Scorpio energy and sitting right beside it with another deck is the, at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands. So definitely fire. Some of you have um, had some tower moments, possibly with a fire sign. And it caused you to reject an offer, possibly an offer of love. And... At the bottom of the deck that I'm going to use uh, to do your reading is the Hierophant, which is the High Priest. This is Taurus energy. So um, some of you are ready for commitment. Let's see what's up underneath this. Ooh, we have the lovers. So someone has a choice to make. Uh, Gemini energy. Some of you could be twins. So let's go ahead and pull all of these up so I can start your reading, guys. working on getting back into the swing of things because I know I've been amiss as usual. Not that I want to be, but you know, hey, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do in order to make things happen. So for the meantime, in between time, a sister got to do what a sister got to do. I'm just saying. And I'll shuffle these decks and close your readings out with them. And I've got some new decks that are on their way in. So I'm excited. Some of them should be here as early as the 25th. So I cannot wait to bless them. And cleanse them. And see what energies we get with them. So, alright Cancer family. Let's begin. What is the energy for my Cancerian subscribers please? What is their message? The first card out is the King of Pentacles. 
Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or some of you could have it in your chart. Both, either you or them. Someone is financially stable. Someone is abundant. Um, they're the take charge type of person. Take the bull by the horn and get things done. Um, people look up to you. Your societal peers, excuse me, look up to you. They come to you for advice. Um, you're a staple kind of person in the community. You could also have a little star quality going on as well, is what I'm feeling. But um, you could be married. You don't have to be. You could have jits. You don't have to. Um, you could be in a long-term committed relationship. You don't have to. What is the energy for my Cancerian subscribers and what is the message? You could possibly be dealing with a Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone that is feisty, bold, confident, uh, knows what they want, goes after it, they get it. Also known as the mystery, uh, the mistress of the Zodiac. Um, this is someone that is beautiful um, and knows it. can be quite charming as well. So this can make for an interesting couple, Cancer. Fire and water with a little earth in between. What is the energy for my Cancerian subscribers? What is their message, please? The Ace of Wands. So someone wants a new beginning. And there's an opportunity for a new beginning. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Again, someone wants passion. They want a passionate new start. I'm hearing great sex. So whomever this Queen of Wands is, uh, this is someone I feel you know from your past. Uh, Y'all used to have some very good times together. Very good is what I'm being told. What is the energy for my Cancerian subscribers, please? And what is their message? We have the Two of Wands. So someone is holding on to two things, and I say two people. If you look at this card very carefully, and I'm going to get it as close as I can, someone is holding on to one rod, and they have their scarf cleverly wrapped around the other one. So you might be holding on to someone presently and holding on to someone from your past. I feel like it's this queen of wands, Cancer. Either you or them. What is the energy for my Cancerian subscribers? What is their message? What is the message for my Cancerian subscribers? Ah, we have the Eight of Chalices, the Eight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, your energy, Cancer. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like someone has walked away from a situation, either you or them, Cancer. It was painful. It was heartbreaking. It was very hard to walk away from this situation. And um, somebody also went through a spiritual awakening in this process. But I feel like this Queen of Wands has had the opportunity to grow her finances. Her pinnacles are growing. As you can see, these sunflowers are big and she's continuously watering them. So her finances are increasing. So this Queen of Wands is on her way to being... Stable, financially grounded. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the magician. This is Aries energy. So someone is manifesting. Somebody could be using the moon to manifest. And others could be using witchcraft, spell work, blood magic to manifest something into existence. Could possibly be you or this fire sign. What is the energy of my Cancerian subscribers? 
plates, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So even though somebody wants a passionate new beginning, it's going to take a hell of a time for it to come in because it's the Knight of Pentacles is up underneath. That's both the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And under the Two of Wands, we have the Chalice. Uh, the King of Chalice is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So the King of Cups. So um, someone water signs could definitely be holding on to two people, two places, two things. I feel more like it's two people and cancer, since this is your reading, um, that could definitely be you holding on to two people. You could be holding on to one physically and you could be holding on to the other one spiritually. Um, you can feel their energy. They can feel yours. And yes, you want to come in and you want to have great sex with this person. You're probably having sex in a 5D. But um, in the physical, it's going to take a minute because this unicorn, he's munching. He having lunch. And at the bottom of the deck, we have your card again. Chariot card, chariot card. So again, there could be distance between you. But you want swift movement. You want swift action. You want victory. But you have to release something. You have to close one door before another door can open, Cancer. Can I get the energy for my Cancerian subscribers? And what is their message, please? We have the Sun card that came out. The Sun card is Leo energy. This is the happiest card in the deck. So someone walked away from a situation in order to gain happiness. They were tired of being in pain. They wanted to, re to receive happiness, love. Happiness, abundance. That could have been either you or them or both, Cancer. And at the bottom of the deck, someone wants to take action with communication. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Someone wants communication. Either you want to communicate to them or vice versa via email, text messages, um, any social media platform, phone calls, that type shit. What is the energy of my Cancerian subscribers? And what is their message, please? Some of y'all readings have been all over the place. The energy has been so scattered. Hmm. We have the Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and we have the Ace of Cups. So... This seems to be the dynamic of the energies that either you are in or either this, um, the signs that are in your charts. Cancer, you and the person that you're involved with or the people either you are involved with or this fire sign could be involved with. And <sighs> someone wants commitment. Someone wants marriage. Someone wants stability. And that's also my 1111 card. And we have an, an offer of love. So we have passion. But there's going to be some time before that comes in. And love. And we have the king of chalices here. And we have the king of pentacles here. And even though we do have three... Um, me, um, court cards here I feel like this can be this person and this person is one and the same but I feel like you guys both have that same um, cancer I feel like you have all elements in your chart and I feel like this fire sign does too but I'm feeling like this fire sign could have more earth in her chart as well as water. But prominent earth in her chart. And at the bottom of the tech, I'll be damned, we have the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. So someone wants to come in and um, who is passionate. They want to take charge. Um, they want to get something done. And this can also be, well, he's in the upright, so he's good for now. Um, this is like my little Casanova. 
But the king of chalices is someone that does not wear their emotions on their sleeve. Um, they're very much in control of their emotions. This person um, can be very intuitive, very psychic, very gifted. So Cancer, you know the dilemma. Um, you have the solution to your own dilemma. You have to let go of something in order to have one. But you cannot have both. You can't have your cake and eat it too. It's either you, Cancer, or them. Or it's both of you. You both might be doing the same thing. I don't know. You know your story. And energy does not recognize sex. Can I get the energies for my Cancerian subscribers, please? We have the Three of Swords. So, Cancer, you've experienced some heartbreak. Not once, but twice. You've experienced some heartbreak. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And we have the Five of Chalices that also came out. So, I think someone got their feelings hurt pretty bad in a situation, in a third party situation, and someone got rejected. Mm. And that king of, that king of swords, I mean the king, is there a king of swords going on up in here? Somebody then turned into the king of swords, but um, the king of wands, I believe that was your, comp that was your competitor that popped out. At the bottom of the deck, the last time I pulled the cards. And at the bottom of the deck, now we have the Nine of Swords. So you scared you're going to get your head chewed off. You want to come back to this fire sign, but you don't know if this fire sign is going to take you back or not. And um, you've dumped out all of the heartbreak, all of the emotions, all the pain, all the suffering from this third party situation. Either you or this uh, Queen of Wands did. But they're failing to see that there's still two cups remaining. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. That's your energy, Cancer. And you're scared, again, that she going to chew your damn head off for this shit. So let's go ahead and um, clarify some of this. Why is the King of Pentacles here, please, for Cancer? The Four of Pentacles. more Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy so not only do you have money but you're hiding money and you're focused heavily on finances your heart chakra is blocked Archangel Raphael spoke of the heart chakra and at the bottom of the deck we have the Emperor this is Aries energy and some people say Taurus but I say primarily Aries because Aries is the Emperor this is somebody that likes to take charge, that uh, likes to be in control of a situation. This person can be an older person, but they don't have to be. They can be mature, wise, and stern. But um, this is someone that is used to um, being a business person, their own boss. Um, they could run their own business, their own corporation. Um, this person... Um, could be married, doesn't have to be. They could have children, don't have to. Um, they could be in a long-term, stable, committed relationship. But this person um, wants power absolute. This person is used to taking charge of a situation. But someone here is withholding their heart in a situation. And Pisces energy here, the hangman, this is my God card. Father has taken someone and put them in time out so they can gain a clearer perspective of a situation because you're still indecisive. You're juggling Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. Somebody is still on the fence about a situation and <laughs> there's the King of Swords. Um, somebody needs to uh, get out of their head and be more balanced in their decision making because the King of Swords is very analytical. He's like a judge. So there's no emotion involved and he will definitely cut you out of a situation with no doubt. But someone wants to offer love, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So someone wants to come in and offer love hmm, to an empress. So we do have a twin flame situation going on here in a, 
find this interesting. All right. Can I get a little more information on that Four of Pentacles, please? For my Cancerian subscribers. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So you realized after p placing someone in a third party situation or them, you, that this person knows their worth. Because we have the Queen of Pentacles down at the bottom of the deck. And you want attention and you want victory. You want celebration in this situation. This person that you're interested in is single. They know their worth. They're stable. Or if they're not, they're becoming stable. Because we do have the Eight of Pentacles here. And this person is loving and nurturing. This is someone um, that you know, they know who they are and what they bring to the table, more or less, Cancer. Either you or them. What is the energy for that Queen of Wands? Tell me why is this Queen of Wands here for Cancer, please? Communication. Someone wants to communicate. This Queen of Wands could possibly be offering communication to you, Cancer, or you to her in the very near future. Somebody wants some sex. I got sexual energy on the board. And somebody wants an equal balance of give and take. Somebody wants reciprocity. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy, six of pentacles. Somebody wants reciprocity in a situation. Why is the Ace of Wands here for my Cancerian subscribers, please? <clears throat> we have the lovers. <laughs> so somebody, I just got finished saying, somebody is a lot of sexual energy on the board. Somebody has a choice to make. We are definitely dealing with some twins up in here. And look at that, the bottom of the deck, love, drunken love. Somebody is drunk in love. Cancer, either you or them or both. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Gemini for the lovers. What is, why is the two of wands here for my Cancerian subscribers, please? At the bottom of the deck, we have the wheel of fortune. So this is a fated and destined event. So not only that, for some of you, it's been karmic. We have... An offer of love. Careful. Somebody could get pregnant. And soulmates. So, Cancer, this is your soulmate. Definitely. This is a soulmate. This is a past life connection. But we have the Wheel of Fortune. So, something destined and faded. There's been a lot of internal conflict. A lot of burdens behind this. Someone detached from a situation because somebody was a hoe. Somebody got their karma. A cycle completed. And now somebody wants to come back in with a tentative offer. Interesting. Nine of Pentacles because somebody is single. And they're afraid that somebody is going to not stay single for long. What is or why is the Eight of Chalices here? Because there was judgment. Someone called judgment or judgment was called on the situation. I feel like karma played a role in this judgment being called. But I also feel like somebody wants reconciliation on the situation. Now somebody is ready to offer somebody reciprocity in the situation. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here, please, for my Cancerian subscribers? Ten of Pentacles. Somebody wants this to grow into the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody wants stability, but they're not sure that you're going to accept it or they're not sure um, or vice versa. You're not sure they're going to accept your Ten of Pentacles offer, but this queen has the capability of being the Ten of Pentacles because it's sitting on the Eight of Pentacles. She's two Pentacles away from being the Ten of, Ten of Pentacles by herself. What? Sheesh. 
Okay. Well, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Somebody needs to have strength. You could be dealing with a Leo, definitely. We have the sun. We have the sun and the strength card. So the devil has been somewhere in between this relationship. It was toxic at one point. Because anywhere the strength card has been, you can guarantee that the devil card has been there too. So someone definitely has Leo in their chart, but I feel like you both have fire in your chart. Seven of chalices. Somebody needed strength because somebody had multiple options, but somebody also found out their options were illusions. Henceforth, the three, the five, and the eight. Why is the king of chalices here? You need to illuminate. That's my illumination card. Illuminate why the king of chalices is here. <coughs> Excuse me. For my Cancerian subscribers, please. <coughs> the Nine of Wands. Someone is definitely guarded, wounded, and defensive in a situation. I feel like, Cancer, this could be your energy. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords here. So someone, and you could be scared that this um, Queen of Swords is ready to cut this out. And that Queen of Swords is that Queen of Wands. Or you. Or both. Why is the Sun card here for my Cancerian subscribers, please? The Seven of Wands. Someone stood their ground. I feel like it. Whoever has Leo in their chart, somebody became defensive and stood their ground in a situation after being hurt and devastated in a situation. And it was all due to secrets. Cancer energy, the moon. There were a lot of things hidden. And it caused this person to be wounded, guarded, injured, heartbroken. They walked away from a situation, either you or them or both. And somebody stood their ground in a situation. What is, why is the four of wands here? What I should ask for my Cancerian subscribers, please. Seven of chalices. Somebody traded long-term commitment for options. And the empress walked away. Virgo, Taurus, Libra energy. Yeah, the Empress walked away. She walked away from a small offer. Why would an Empress accept, accept love from a knight? She's an Empress. So, she could have embodied herself as the King of Swords and cut this shit out. Because she wasn't going to be juggled in a situation. Meanwhile, God put the Emperor in time out. <laughs> and he's scared now that he's going to get his head chewed off. But somebody is manifesting. They want victory. And someone walked away from something. Knight of Swords, there was a lot of harsh communication. And somebody took a time out again. They needed a break because someone was confused. They needed to temperance and balance the situation. Sagittarius energy. But somebody wants wish fulfillment. But they're receiving healing right now because the door to abundance is there. And change is coming. Let's go forward, family. Why is the Ace of Chalices here? If anybody hears any noise in the background, that's my great nephew. We have the Page of Swords. So someone is spying or was childish in a love offer. An offer of love. Or someone feels like someone is going to come in with a childish love offer is what I'm feeling. Why is the Three of Swords here for my Cancerian subscribers, please? Ooh, that's not good. The five of wands on the three of swords. There was a lot of conflict. Somebody cheated with somebody at work. Mm-hmm. Somebody cheated with somebody at work. And it created a great deal of conflict. And that's what caused the rift between this water sign and this fire sign. Lots of heartbreak and betrayal to the 10th power. 
There you go. What is it? And that's not going to resonate for everybody. So again, take only what resonates. What is not your story? Don't, don't apply it. What is the, why is the five of chalices here? Ooh. This was a lesson for, for somebody. This was a lesson for you. I feel cancer, but it could have been a lesson for, I feel like, no, I'm going to take that back. I feel like it's, it was a lesson for both of you. There was a lot of lies, deception, and betrayal. I don't know who did the lying and who did the betraying, but there was a lot of it. And I'm being told that this Queen of Wands is this, is not, I'm sorry, is not this Queen of Swords. You were dealing with two fire signs and this is not going to resonate for everybody now this is what i'm being told you were dealing with two fire signs one had earth in their chart the other one had prominent air in their chart but they also had earth too and one was a co-worker mm 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 Wow, interesting. Twin flames also. Yeah, a lot of conflict. Ten of wands, detachment, betrayal. Somebody took a leap of faith. Somebody was under contract and wanted something to come together, possibly with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but now somebody's stuck in their head over a situation there's delays there could have been a king of wands involved in this too somebody did not see something clearly now you see it and now you feel left out in the cold yeah you didn't see you were blind but now you see and there's the empress mm. interesting 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 let's get on to <sighs> the energy oracle deck and see what they say cancer for my lovely cancers what is the energy for my cancerian subscribers please no judgment here but that sounds hurtful what is the energy for my cancerian subscribers please At the bottom of the deck, you have victory, Cancer. 2 plus 8 is 10. is a 1, so it's a start. What is the energy for my Cancerian subscribers, please? You have three cards that came out. And at the bottom of the deck now, we have yin and yang. So we have balance. So that could be the scales of karma that have been balanced out. The temple path. Someone is on their spiritual journey. Someone is on their path. I did mention contract in the past. So some of you could be under contract right now. You could be in court. And also, that could be karma, too. And we have deceit. So someone was definitely deceptive in the past, either you or them, cancer, or both. What is the energy for my Cancerian subscribers, please? What is the energy and the messages for my Cancerian subscribers? What is their message, please? Let's cut the cards. At the bottom of the deck, we have winter solstice. So someone is doing major reflection on a situation that they were involved in. So let's see.
and it could have something to do with your childhood innocence. So I feel like the divine is having you to reflect on your childhood innocence. Some of you need to get back to that place. And some of you are communing with your inner spirit animal, your totem, your spirit guide. And in the beginning, remember, one of the angels told you to take several deep breaths so you could get new energy and release old patterns. So there you are. And some of you just need to sit your ass down and be still like a lake. <laughs> What is the energy for my Cancerian subscribers, please? What is the energy and the messages for my beautiful, beautiful Cancerian subscribers, please? Can you give me the messages for my Cancerian subscribers? <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck, we have gentleness. Archangel Sandalpon, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. So that makes a lot of sense. Whoa. Okay. I'm not going to do anything else. Gifts from God. Archangel Sandalphon again. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive them. You have... Hello from heaven. So some of you have some loved ones that are letting you know that all is well. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So some of you have lost someone that is dear to you and they're letting you know they're okay. We have patience. We saw that here earlier. Archangel Jophiel, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Balance. You saw the angel of balance in the beginning of your reading. You had one that showed up again, and now you have the third. Passion. Archangel Haniel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. So some of you are getting blessed new opportunities in love and career. Henceforth, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Chalices. Victory, Archangel Sandalphon, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith, so don't waver. Take back your power, Archangel Raziel. Use your God-given power and intentions to manifest blessings in your life. Clear Cognizance, Archangel Uriel, Pay attention to your thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Again, and patience. Moon cycles, Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. You had something similar to that in the beginning of your reading. And clairvoyance. So you have, I said you had gifts, Cancer. It's time you use them. Archangel Raziel, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. So this concludes your reading, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated for someone. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family, friends, and coworkers. If um, you go to YouTube here, you'll find me as Ascended Twin 144 k if you go to Instagram, you'll find me as Ascended Twin 144K. If you go to Facebook, you'll find me as Nikita Kelly, Ascended Twin. All right, family, I love you guys so much, and it's been such a pleasure to do your reading. Y'all take care. Bye-bye for now. Love you guys.